That story was so sad, it made that man throw up into a bag. Oh, uh, don't call him out. He's fine. <laughs> yeah. S- someone just barfed in the room? We'll be fine. Wow. It's been a real roller coaster. <laughs> Are you all right, sir? Perhaps not. He's, he's, he's unconscious? Do you need a hey, okay? We could call, like... Do you, do, you, do you want us to put you in the freezer? Call an ambulance. <laughs> how can we help? Yeah, how can do you want, we? Do you want me to help you? Someone right, should help her. Uh, help him get, get him out. Call an ambulance. Yeah, she's getting out of here. Yes. Oh, it's so a she. What, what's happening? She needs help. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I guess while this is happening, Daniel, do you want to do, uh, d- do a couple scenes from, uh, from the originals for us? Or? Oh, he's over there helping. Dan is <laughs> over there helping. See, Daniel... Uh, that's the real hero. That's no yeah, vampire. That's hero. a hero over there. <laughs> well, we're up here yapping. Yeah. He's like, how can I actually help a sick we're human? We're all sitting here like, oh, man. Yeah. D- no, yeah. da- Daniel actually is, is one of those people, that's, aside from being... Awesome, hilarious, uh, a wonderful father and husband and everything. He's, he's just a great dude all around. When Katrina happened, he he was like working, like he was he, like he had stuff going on. He just he, he's from New Zealand, but he was living here, and he just picked up shit, told his wife, "I'm gonna fucking go," and he went to. Uh, he, he, he will not let me tell the story because I can tell it now. Cause no, he's you can off, tell it now because he's, he's off helping, helping him humanity right yeah. now. He went there and just, he's like, I, I can't watch the news and watch what's going on here without helping. So he goes to New Orleans and he said, hey, I'm here. I want to help people. And like, you can't help people unless you work for the Red Cross and there's all this red tape and all this stuff. So he commandeered a fucking bulldozer or some shit. I think he, I, stole, I just, he stole a Red Cross sticker. If you hear, he looked right into the construction worker's eyes and <laughs> cast a spell over him. <laughs> That's his power! Of course, this was all in the middle of the night. <laughs> right. <laughs> but he actually... He had to kickbox very briefly a werewolf from uh, Amnesty International. <laughs> He this was going there because he knows there's blood banks there. Yeah. He wasn't going there to help Oh, consume. blood people. Oh, my God. But they surrounded them with garlic, so it was real tough. The thing is, like, <laughs> he, he actually, like, he actually is a good person that, like, would, that, like, sacrificed his own time, livelihood, and safety and just went out there and said, like, like if, if, not, they're, not, if they're not gonna let me help, I'm just gonna pretend, like, I, I'm just gonna, like, go around, like, the red tape and just, like, get shit done. And he fucking did. It's like it's it's uh, it's amazing. Why couldn't he save my cat? <laughs> Where was he when my cat was dying? <laughs> well, That'd be amazing if he again. came back on stage. Daniel with Gillies, me. everybody. Daniel Gillies <laughs> with, with my cat. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> sure. I was saying, cunt on stage. Do you want a Fosters? Oh. oh. It's not the best idea. Tap it, it's gonna blow. <laughs> da- for those listening, Dave Klein just tossed Daniel Gillies uh, the largest can of beer. <laughs> largest can of- st- he tossed him a keg of beer. <laughs> My tiny Trump hands couldn't catch it. <laughs> <laughs> Daniel, h- how long were you in, uh, in New Orleans for when you went out to help with the Katrina uh, stuff? Only two weeks. Two weeks. Yeah. You you you, you commandeered like you just you just said you, you faked credentials and got a bulldozer and started helping move move debris and shit. That, that sounds so much more heroic than what I did. Um, and and I didn't rescue his cat, so I'm a double fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> you heard that? But 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 no, oh yeah. Of course. He was <laughs> right, or yeah. it's true that you should have. I know. I know. Look, trust me, believe me. Uh, I, the uh, no, what ended up happening was um, I went down. <sighs> there was no. I couldn't rent anything uh, in terms of a vehicle in Louisiana. I, um, I ended up uh, looking around in Mississippi to try and find something, like a, a truck. I knew I'd need some, some sort of vehicle if I was going to be helping people. And um, so I, I think, God, this is everyone's so quiet. <laughs> um, and uh, it sounds so name droppery. Um, uh, it's okay to drop the name Katrina if you helped. Yeah. <laughs> 
Sure. It's not Beyonce and you hung out with her. <laughs> you met Katrina? <laughs> Intimately. <laughs> Um, so, oh, here it goes, here it comes. It's so, cool. So, so, so it's, it's weird, he's my pal. So, Ryan Gosling and ah, I, there we go. Oh, boo! <laughs> boo! <laughs> oh, my man! You dropped that, <laughs> you dropped that mic like that name. Yeah! All right! <laughs> Wait. Oh, Dropping man. mics and names. That's so cool. Wait, no. That's so it? cool. No, but seriously, tell us, tell That's us. That's so cool. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot this part of the story, Daniel. Go on. That's know. so cool. Yeah, we're just giving you shit. Go ahead. Sorry. So you called movie star Ryan Gosling. <laughs> We're not behaving like people that want the rest of the story, which no, I no, do. No, 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 I do. I do. Just a couple of symmetricals hanging out. Go ahead. <laughs> symmetricals? Wait. Uh, what is that? What is I, I'm, I, I'm putting a pin on the word symmetricals. <laughs> yeah. Wait, wait, wait. We're, but I, we're, I we're, totally we're, we're, we're torturing the guy who, if there's an earthquake and there will be soon, <laughs> is 90% likely to be the one that saves your life. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, actually, go ahead. So you... Oh, sorry. So, uh, <laughs> look, I was, I was watching this stuff on TV and I was getting more and more bummed out. And I ended up, uh, I ended up making a call to Ryan. And I said, hey, should we go, uh, we, we should go and um, do something about this. I'm, I'm going to the airport tonight to try and get to, uh, to Mississippi because that's where I can rent a car because all the vehicles are gone in Louisiana. And uh, he said, because uh, he's more heroic than I in this story, uh, he was already on his way. He's like, I'm already, <laughs> he's like, he's like, I'm already running there. Yes. <laughs> No, he's obviously driving, yes. obviously. Yes. All of his, he'd already packed two tank yeah. tops. He's running, yes. he's got two yeah. suitcases, he's holding them <laughs> above his head. And he's running faster than any man has ever run. If you go down to Katrina with Ryan Gosling and he's not driving, you're just being an asshole. <laughs> he's just running going, Ryan Gosling! <laughs> You know, I never, I never dreamed that this story would sound as fabricated as it does <laughs> when I ended up telling it. It's just, it sounds like total fucking shit. But I along think it the sounds way, amazing and like what every part of life should be. Right. <laughs> so he's like everyone should way. do this. God, Spencer, I want to make love to you. Oh, man. Um, <laughs> I'm just uh, so that's I'm, I'm so going cool. To, no, don't. You're already there. Like We're doing this it. could be a movie. I we will could kiss be you watching in front of all this. These people, stop it. <laughs> oh my God, we want to see it. Like, yeah. So he's already on his way. Uh huh. And I said, um, I, I, so I said, oh, that's great because I'm on, on my way to the airport. I flew down to Mississippi. I got, I, I hired a, a f bullshit uh, moving truck, and then I drove to uh, Louisiana. And Ryan, Ryan was already saying saying to meet him in Biloxi, and so we went to um, I went to go meet him in Biloxi, but we couldn't get past a certain um, uh, security area. So um, I said that we should steal some uh, some Red Cross <laughs> stickers because the Red Cross actually had super, were super regulated and uh, kind of militant about the way that they were approaching everything, like the the the, um, the way in which they were distributing. Well, you know, in wartime, they were the Red Swastika. <laughs> I did actually, they had to change that. No, I'm kidding. I, I just, <laughs> I, 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 don't, don't Google that. It just seems like the kind of thing that you'd... All right. <laughs> Too soon. <laughs> right. Yeah. So we stole But what some? if they thought they could, you know, what if they thought that was enough? They're like, oh boy, I better make that across. <laughs> yeah. Let's take some of these lines off. <laughs> okay, so you guys... Uh, we worked with yes. the Red Cross for a couple of days before we so became... So you stole stickers? Before I stole the stickers, I was getting bummed out working with the Red Cross. I don't want to sound disparaging no, no, towards no. the Red Cross on this thing that's being filmed and recorded. <laughs> but but, but they, they were being super regulated about it. There were certain hours in the day that you could work and that you could help. And it was like sort of 10 to 4. And we were like, well, we wanted to sort of go into the heart of things. And Biloxi was uh, the most fucked up. So we ended up um, stealing some stickers from the Red Cross so that we could get through the um, security. And, right. and, um, and we ended up sort of... Woo! Uh, setting up a, a, like a, a temple there, um, like a, a, a Hindu sort of temple thing there. There's a, there's a huge sort of Thai population there, actually. And then we ended up, uh, th th we met up with some guys who had bulldozers. Yes, the bulldozers did exist. And, uh, and, and, and we, we were sort of clearing debris from the streets. And Are you Hindu? 
Barely. But you are. No, I'm not. Okay. No, 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 not at so all. So why did you? Wh why? What do you mean you set up a? Uh, it, w it was a nice refuge. Uh, oh. it, 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 oh, he it, went it and he didn't make one. I thought oh. he said that too. Like, holy fuck! You and Ryan Gosling <laughs> built a Hindu temple <laughs> in Katrina. Wow. Yeah, that's what I thought. <laughs> I was and like, it's I mean, still there today. Yeah, and it's one of, and it's and it's and it's and it's and it's it's, it's raised their um, their city's revenue by ten percent. It's like a profitable it's like, temple. It's like a game of civilization, <laughs> right? It's Did, like Daniel. What, what was the party? Was it your birthday that you had at the uh, at the Chateau Marmont when uh, Ryan Gosling did the coolest thing I've ever seen as a gift? Oh, was, yeah. it, was it your birthday? It was my birthday. And so uh, he cured AIDS <laughs> <laughs> simply with his biceps, with mariachi. <laughs> uh, that's why there's a I, Hindu temple uh, in the middle so, of Chateau Marmont. So, so Daniel got a, one of those cool, like, uh, like the, the Chateau Marmont hotel. There's a few rooms that have awesome balconies, are big, you know, like, like, and, and they'll have like, like there's like dining room in it. Like, like so they, they they brought up a full on okay, like okay. dinner. That that, was, that youp was for dining rooms. <laughs> Natalie Wood but, in dining rooms, for those of you playing they, Dave Pine Bingo tonight. He's so easily impressed. <laughs> a whole room? Were you well, just So eat? specifically impressed. Wow. I don't know, easily? <laughs> I mean, he, yeah. didn't, he, he didn't care nothing for the Red Swastika. He didn't swastika. care about the Hindu temple they erected overnight, yeah. but <laughs> dining rooms? <laughs> Mind blown. So, so, yeah. so there's a knock at the door. The, the, the party is already in progress. And in walks, what, what would you call it, Daniel? A seven-piece band? Yeah. Ten? Seven, a, I, I, a, a full-on East LA mariachi band, and the full, the full thing, like the, the big hats with the tassels and the big, like the silver embroidery, and they came in and they're singing Cielito Lindo. And they, ah, ha, ha, they come in, Ryan, uh, Ryan Gosling just fucking brought a mariachi band. That was his gift to the party. He went to East That's LA. That's a terrible gift to a party. That was the best. <laughs> They came out and they stood in the balcony and they fucking serenaded us and then they played like four or five songs and boned out and it was like, and I asked him like, that's the greatest thing I've ever seen in my life. Like, he's like, three hundred dollars. It's like that's all it costs. Like, you, you, like you, you, they'll come play your party. I'm like, I can't. he gave them all signed headshots. <laughs> it was the thing. That's a great gift. That's really good. Yeah. Well, how do we get to be friends with this guy? I, mean, I am friends a... with him. Can I tell you my story? Oh. You've been waiting. <laughs> so I was. Uh, so this, you, you guys were you guys were first responders at 9/11. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> this episode's title yeah. is the Ryan Gosling he Diaries. Him, <laughs> he called him on 9/11, and then Ryan was like, "I've been running since 9:10." <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, when I was uh, when I was in when I was in college, uh, I went. We went to India. And uh, we were taking a boat down the Ganges River. You and Ryan Gosling? No, this is no, just me and a friend. Uh, but Ryan Gosling comes into the story. So we're on the Ganges River, oh taking. My God. We're on a boat on the Ganges River, and this, like, you know, the Ganges River. There's a lot of death floating down. Yeah. So there's like a, a cow floating down the river, bloated, and and birds are riding on its back. And and I look at my friend. I'm like, I, I just don't think I can handle all this death. Ryan Gosling <laughs> explodes out of the cow, and he, no joke, and he looks at he looks at me and he says, "Death is just a part of the cycle of life." Uh, it was amazing. Yeah. Yeah. That's amazing that he. He's so cool. I, 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 how, he's so cool. How, how, how could he hear you? How could he hear you from inside a cow? He's Ryan Gosling, man. <laughs> I can't, I can't get a read on Daniel. I don't know if he's gonna beat us up or. No! Or, or, no, I, I don't, no! No! I don't know no! What, no! <laughs> Please don't. After I made that horrible joke to Obama, Ryan Gosling dropped from the ceiling and was like, "That wasn't that bad." <laughs> <laughs> he 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 dropped down like in front of Obama as Obama walked away and yeah. whispered to Obama, and Obama came back to you and said, "Like on second thought, <laughs> given my joke." Yours wasn't that bad. Yeah. <laughs> ha, 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 ha. Yeah. I just think that's the coolest thing ever, though, to imagine that when disasters are happening, there are beautiful, famous, symmetrical men <laughs> on the way to help. That's a really cool fucking thing. I mean, it's an amazing thing. This is... 
Daniel, this is your worst nightmare, isn't it? Yeah. I, I hate this. <laughs> oh, but sorry. my beard smells beautiful, so yeah. fuck all of you. Yeah. <laughs> but what do you... I mean, what is that instinct? Because, okay, so microcosm Heroism? of it. Obviously, uh, <laughs> well, call, yeah. The uh, so the guy was in the audience, and then he 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 he, he needed help. Uh, CJ, you escorted him yeah, out. None, none of us made a move. No, da I didn't, Daniel, I didn't, like, I was still talking to Daniel like he was on stage. Daniel was already <laughs> like in action. Like yeah, like, Duncan and I were like making fun. Well, of I'm, the, I'm the least funny person on this. Kumail thing. was like whispering to me, "Don't point him out." <laughs> And you, what did you do? I you said, pointed I'm sorry, him out. I'm sorry. Ha ha ha! I didn't. And then hear. Daniel's there helping. And we saved his life. <laughs> do, do we have an update on, on our, on our, on our? On yeah, our Ryan Gosling to uh, Ryan to, to the, the hospital. hospital. Came down in a helicopter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, on one of those rope ladders. <laughs> yeah. We scooped him up. Yeah. I mean, this, this gorgeous lat. <laughs> just flew off. Yeah. The guy just called. Grab a glute. <laughs> uh, the guy just called an Uber and it was like, Ryan Gosling is coming. And then a helicopter shows up. He's somehow piloting and hanging off the ladder. But then there's the dark montage of, of stories that are like, uh, Ryan Gosling lawsuit continues as the woman he pulled from the burning car asserts he threw out her shoulder. Uh, yeah. the news, Ryan Gosling's a brush with the Interpol uh, agency. And it's like, it's like this montage and it's like a fall from grace. Like, there's no more, you know, we started to take Ryan Gosling for granted. And, yeah. And then, and then we started fucking shitting on him. And then, and then, and then it's like, and then, and it's like, and then the end of that credit sequence is like, 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 still no word from Ryan Gosling after two years, 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 years. And then you go to this, the Gosling cave. And, yeah. uh, or what, I mean, I don't want to, yeah, I don't want to overdevelop it. He's but doing, like, he's, yeah, he's doing push ups and he's like, 3,000. Okay. <laughs> I think he would just be sitting in there like, 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 well, no, he wouldn't be, I mean, I mean, th that would be a sad moment. <laughs> well, why would he be doing a 3,000th push-up? Because I think now he's ready years. to go out again. Oh, okay. In my version, we're already at, like, he's now going to go oh. out, but... And you, and you put that right after the, I mean, but don't, it's don't two you years, spend right? any time? Yeah, yeah. two years. You're the writer. Well, I mean... <laughs> Uh, my guess is one, he's but... carving Hindu deities in this cave and sitting in front of them. That's a good... Like, yeah, it fakes yeah. in a Jakarta. Hey, yeah, oh, yeah, oh, yeah. It's like, like sundown and there's like a... And then he's like, he's like, he's in a bazaar and he's finishing and he's going, no, two, shupata, shupata, two, two, hop, hop, chip, chip. Um, and there's like, like all these people are like, Climbing him and kissing him, and he's like, ah, oh, mushate, mushate, ah, oh. mush, 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 ah, and, and 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 then he goes back to like this like eighteen uh, hundreds like kind of like British colonial office building where he's a detective, but he plays soccer with some kids on the way back. Oh yeah, no, it's, uh, yeah, he's like, he's like, oh, oh, oh. And, 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 yeah, yeah, this kid, and that that kid, the kid with the like uh, greasy polo shirt, that yeah, like yeah, yeah. He, go, he goes like, Gosling, Gosling, sir, yeah, Gos <laughs> Mr. Gosling, uh, and, he, and he goes like, oh no, let me show you, kick, kick, jump, kick, kick, and then hook, hook, and then, and then, but that kid on page seventy wait, blow, wait. blows up. That's right. You know, he, he he notices when he's the, cradling that kid's fucking body, going when like, the kid kicks the ball. He notices that the kid like he turns and there's like a weird like scar on the back, like a cigar burn on it, and he he stores that information later on. He like he finds out there's a guy that loves to burn kids with cigars and oh. shit like that. <laughs> 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 We were making a fun detective slash Superman kind yeah. of thing. He goes home to his he goes home to his, uh, you know, his or his office, like I said, and his like his receptionist is like a money penny. There's kind of a sexual like like um like Pepper Potts kind of like it's too it's too hot to be sexualized until the end of the movie kind of relationship, and uh, and she's like, uh, what's going on out there? And he's like, I got to come all the way to Jakarta, to and and there's a kid out there. He's got a fucking cigar burn on the back of his head. <laughs> Ryan, you can't save everybody you know, wherever you go. It's like, yeah, what are the cases? Uh, a walrus uh, poaching uh, happened on the uh, Orient Express. A walrus poachers! 
fucking ju- the Jakarta walrus poaching train. It's gone on for two. But long. it's great if the guy poaching the walrus is the cigar burning man. That's he. He doesn't yes. just poach. He bur- He burns kids sometimes. Yeah. It's pretty. It's a lame. It's a lame villain. 